Hey guys, just a quickie here. I am going to be demoing something. New product. I think it's new anyway. This uh, Top Don, I hope I'm saying it right, Top Skin. I'm gonna be demoing this. Uh, I am a beta tester for this. I'm gonna do a little bit and uh, give you my honest opinion and reviews. So let's uh, bust it open real quick. This is it here. Okay, it's been a minute, about 10 days since I started talking about this with you guys. Um, so I'm gonna do my best to demonstrate how this works. I downloaded an app, it's supposed to allow me to record the screen and also talk. So let's hope that works out. If not, I'm gonna have to overdub it or something, I guess. First thing we need to do is go to and I'm not gonna go through all this, waste my battery, because I think you guys can go to Google Play and install this, right? All right, we've got it installed. Now let's open it up. I can't show you right now, but it is plugged into the OBD2 port. All right, so it appears that you have to use the email address that you purchased this with. So we're gonna go in here, diagnostics, activate VCI first. What the hell does that mean? I'm not seeing anything about activating anything. Maybe that, maybe it's under there, add, okay. Gonna unplug this thing. Okay. All right, that was easy enough. Now that that's activated, I guess I gotta plug this thing back in. Okay, let's go back to the home page here. And I don't actually have anything going on with this right now. So basically I wanted to go through the setup on it. Basically, I just need Ford and Toyota. While I'm in here, I'm gonna go ahead and download on the Toyota one too. Yep. We'll just see what it does on a vehicle. Okay, fail. Are you serious? Bluetooth not connected. Why the hell not? I mean, it looks like it'll be cool if, if I can make it work. Okay, I just clicked up there in the corner. Yeah, 
all be dim. It finally worked. I had to click up here in this top right corner where it says VCI and then it just went through all that. Okay, finally, I think we can figure this thing out. Automatic selection. Yep, that's us. Uh, not equipped. Auto scan, I assume. Let's just see what it comes up with. We don't have any active trouble codes, but I will. Uh, yep. Okay, no fault codes, obviously. Let's go to the live data and just see what it has for us in here. Wow. It's even got the AC pressure. Accelerator pedal position, let's see. Hey, she's got a 351 gear. That's a lot of really useful information. Go back out and just see. I wanted to see what this active test business was all about. Oh yeah. I do have this disconnected, so we'll just see what these say. make that command on no I was wondering if I could make this compressor command on from here and just see okay it just let me do that by pushing on down here wow that's pretty rad Scared almost trying to die because I just opened the EGR valve. It's let me change that value by going up and down. Wow, this is pretty, pretty dang cool. Uh, I was at six when I came in here. This is really cool. Ooh. Let's do this injector one business. idling all right let's disable it wow shit just smooth right out that is really cool some of the stuff just may not be available on this car I, I really don't know for sure
Oh, this has a lot of really cool stuff. Instrument cluster. Let's see what's in here. What the hell's the ABS say? It's got a code. This is a two-wheel drive, by the way. That's why that says 4x4 does not exist. It says it has a code in the ABS. No ABS light though, so I'll go back out and See what this ABS code is. Stability control inhibit warning. I really don't know what the hell that means. Hmm. I'm just going to screenshot that. Go ahead and erase that. The ABS lights flashed on and off. I don't know if you're that ding 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 or whatever. I guess that's telling me it's clear now. Now no no diagnostic codes. So there we are, that's just basically setting the thing up and showing you some of the functions that it has. Uh, I'm gonna be able to use this, I believe, pretty soon. I have to go through and replace a bunch of the AC system on this car, and I think that's gonna help me out a lot. This thing will be in some future videos. I just wanted to show how to set the thing up. Well, I learned with you. I will put a link in the description on how to find these guys. Uh, this is a pretty cool little piece and it actually reminds me a lot of the Blue Driver. Hope you guys liked the video. Take care.